A significant turn of events happens in the case of Dana Wilkes. Good afternoon. I'm Calvin Snead. And I'm Latricia Thomas. Wilkes is that missing woman who went missing in early November. Her dismembered body found just weeks later. News Channel Line's John Madewell joins us now with the new developments. John? Well, Calvin and Latricia, the change centers around a key witness. It came out in court this morning that that witness may have passed away over the weekend. And the witness is none other than Dana Wilkes' husband, Tom Wilkes. Now, we have worked throughout the day and have not been able to confirm his death. Tony Bigham stands accused of killing Dana Wilkes, decapitating her and cutting off one of her hands. He appeared in court this morning and made no plea. That's because he waived his arraignment. Last month, we spoke with Tom Wilkes in a jailhouse interview. He was there on traffic violations and was also in custody when his wife went missing. Twice during that interview, he mentioned an acquaintance by the name of Tony that he felt was responsible for his wife's brutal death. He made the last phone call to a phone, and I think he probably tricked her or some kind of way got her to come out because she trusted him. Wilkes has talked to police in the past, but now a question of the admissibility has come up because of his deteriorating health. He was recently released on an OR bond and went straight to the hospital. Meanwhile, we looked into Bigham's past. Back in 2002, police arrested him for attempted aggravated sexual battery. Almost five years later, a jury convicted him, and despite his eight-year sentence, he didn't serve all of the time. Now the prosecution faces an unusual dilemma. If Tom Wilkes is alive, they want to secure his testimony in this case, even if it has to be taped. The prosecutor in this case, Neil Pinkston, says he's, quote, pretty certain that Wilkes has passed. Throughout the afternoon, he tried to verify that information. Now, I have a call out to Tom Wilkes' attorney to check out if he has died or not. We will certainly let you know once we find out. Meanwhile, the court appointed Tony Biggums a public defender. He's due back in court in early April. Calvin. Thanks, John.